time to do dashboarding so in the previous set of videos we have seen how you would create the various graphs various visualizations it's time to bring all those visualizations and graphs together and the place where you bring your own all, all visualizations together is called as dashboards in Tableau. We can also build stories but that's in a different section. So here I'm gonna show you how you can create dashboards. So creating dashboards you would click on the new sheet. You can still use the the Tableau TW file which you were using from video number one. So going back in here and I'm gonna open the Tableau TW file So here is your new dashboard, this particular button, and then you would see an open space. On the left hand side pane, you would see all the worksheets or all the visualizations you have created earlier. And on the left hand side at the bottom, you would see the size. You can use automatic also, range means it's gonna fit as per what the the layout of the tool or the size of the iPad or mobile device automatically is also recommended for now we can do laptop there you go for the size we can also do large blog iPad portrait depends on for what kind of dashboard you're gonna create but I'm gonna use exactly uh, or automatic and automatic is gonna cover the entire sheet <coughs> you can also select the width and height and also click on show title the title is there double click the title and you would say BDCS dashboard give a title if you don't want to shoot so now let's drag and drop the visualization so you can create a dashboard as I mentioned using the worksheets you created earlier and for now I'm gonna use video 6 the worksheets you created for video number 6 9 10 bubble chart and 12 so now if you can if you want to drag you can drag the dashboards like the, the sheet like this and it will capture the entire screen so this is tile this is a tiled version here and you can make it floating I'm gonna show you the difference between tiled and floating if you check on this box and the next time when you drag and drop a visualization you can actually place it anywhere in this so I'm gonna go back and do the tile so I wanna bring this back into the this area so click on it click on floating and then you can bring it anywhere and place it within the main sheet and remove the floating you can see that how it changes between tiles and floating all right so let's do it again this is where we started with so I just drag video number six visualization now I'm gonna drag nine here so this is gonna put it on the left side this is gonna put it on the right side if I move my mouse at the bottom it's gonna cover the entire sheet the corresponding layout is also uh, the corresponding prompts or filters are here now you can see that clicking or unselecting a checkbox is only affecting the corresponding worksheet I want to enable this for the entire set so I'm gonna 
click on this and say apply to workbook and you can say selected worksheets and check on this box and you can see when you select it now it's gonna change for all the sheets this is to introduce some dynamic dynamic nature to this now if I wanna bring in the bubble chart I can drag and again you can see it's giving me a tiled option so I can drag bubble charts over here and you can also see that the corresponding prompt is also showing up here I can get rid of this by clicking and I can again enable the top one to do the filtering on this tool there you go so it's one and it's gonna affect all dashboards and now I can bring in 12 and I can place it here or I can place it here and you can see how beautiful the dashboard looks again I can filter the dashboard I can use the filterations by doing here go to apply worksheet and make sure you select all the worksheets what you have dragged and there you go so this brings dynamic nature now this profit and loss is referring is referred only by this so I can change the property here again the floating and I can move this so that it it feels that it's part of doesn't look good so I can move it right here and this particular sales amount is part of my div video number nine so I'm gonna move this make it floating again and you can move this and make it part of make sure it sounds better and then this is belonging to this I can still go ahead and change it the floating and can move this as a part of this test so this is how you can and you can create a dashboard and it looks good from what we have done from a dashboard perspective you can you can change the color of the dashboard you can format the dashboard and you can change the title you can change how you want to arrange a lot of things which you can do on dashboard so dashboard format and you can select any color to format the dashboard and then remember the worksheets won't change you have to click on individual worksheets and say format and you can change the color of this dashboard Can use clear to clear the colors so this is how you can do formatting I go back again and remove the color and white you can do borders and all other sorts of formatting so in the next video I'm gonna show you how you can go from one dashboard to other click on a dashboard and create some dashboard interactivities